Hello friends, so in this video I will be speaking about uh, the situation where you have done a perfect surgery, uneventful surgery and patient has come back maybe after a uh, few days or maybe a few months and patient is not satisfied with the outcomes and uh, very unhappy with the situation. So how to deal with uh, such situations? So what happens after an uneventful surgery where you have done a nearly a perfect job that you expect the patient to be quite happy and uh, should have a good vision, should not have any symptoms. But a few patients even after good surgery will develop some sequelae of the procedure and for which they are worried and they are not unhappy because they will blame you for all the sequelae which has happened after the surgery. To give you a few examples, the patient might be troubled about the residual refractive error or patient still has some irritation, itching or pain in the eyes or dryness. Patient may have some floaters, you can see the floating bodies around or patient may have slightly reduced vision after a few weeks or months, probably because of some uh, posterior capsular opacification or patient may also develop some other issues which might be age related and has nothing to do with the surgery. But the patient has come back to your outpatient department and the first thing that patient does when uh, he or she comes back is that patient might start blaming you for all the issues which has happened after the surgery and which is a very natural thing to do for few persons or patients. So how to deal with these kind of situations? Now what happens when you don't think about how to deal with these situations is that you also get agitated when the patient starts blaming you for things which uh, are not in your hand or had nothing to do with the primary surgical procedure. I mean it was perfect but still they could develop after the surgery. So the issue which happens here is that now you are agitated, the patient is already agitated and the situation is not good. The first few things which you have to you know understand about this situation is that first of all the patients in general are not there in the outpatient department to blame you they are coming with some problem which might be a real problem or which might be a perceived problem and what they want is either a reassurance or a solution for that problem so they are not here to blame you though at you know at the outset or at the start they will start with the statements like this for example i have chosen you doctor to take care of my problems but you have added to my problems I never you know uh, expected such a bad things after the surgery you are a very renowned surgeon and still why I am having these issues I paid so much for the surgery and still why I am having these issues so these are you know few common statements which are uh, done by the patient but without realizing that there are so many things which might happen after surgery so you have to start thinking what I you know tell myself is now you start thinking of the situation as a third person's perspective so imagine that you are not the primary surgeon in that case and the patient was operated by someone else and now patient has come to you for the opinion so when you start thinking uh, in those lines you don't bring in your emotions into the situation and you are now thinking more rationally or logically and you might provide solutions which are better and also you will not aggravate the situation by having emotional out outbursts uh, or uh, you know having your ego uh, getting into the situation so first of all when patient comes with these kind of issues the first thing you should do is you accept the issues so don't tell that there is nothing uh, you know there is no problem at all why are you complaining so understand whatever the patient is trying to tell try to analyze it what exactly uh, the patient might be you know experiencing and then you can try to find out if there are any signs of uh, you know any issues in the eye so you should start examining for uh, the lid problems the ocular surface or tear film problems 
or if uh, there is any residual refractive error was there any issue with the IOL or posterior capsule opacification which has happened earlier or if there are any other issues which might have developed as the time goes with retina or with optic nerve and once you go through all this and you find certain things that need to be modified or treated you can assure the patient that these are the issues that I found and let's try to treat it and explain to the patient these are natural sequelae which will happen with you know few patients after a very good surgery as well and uh, we have to try to treat them and get you back to you know the normal so uh, the idea is to be very thorough with the examination don't start you know acting emotionally but rather think very logically as a third person and then you provide two important things as I mentioned earlier in the video the first is provide a solution for example patient comes back with a residual refractive error then you provide a solution that either patient can use glasses or if it is possible from the patient's uh, ocular checkup whether we can provide some laser vision correction to the patient after the procedure and this so either you provide a solution or you at least reassure the patient so these are the usual sequelae of the surgery and maybe it may take a few days weeks or months to you know get back to normal which happens variable in various variable uh, different patient so you should not be worried too much about these issues and carry on and these issues will get sorted out with time so patient want some solution of the problem or the reassurance and that's the way to satisfy the patient of course in case of extreme unhappiness or a very unsatisfied patient you can ask the patient to take a second opinion of your colleague or uh, anyone uh, he you know trusts so that uh, he or she is assured that uh, you are doing everything possible to help the patient and not just you know trying to hide few things from the patient so uh, be very transparent about if anything has happened in the uh, post-operative course for example if patient has developed some uh, cystoid macular edema PCO residual refractive error or dry eyes so whatever your diagnosis is be thorough and be uh, you know very uh, honest about what equally has happened and of course tell the patient that this has nothing to do with the surgery which was perfect these are the sequelae which might happen in some patient more severe than others and we have to treat them so once you have this kind of thought process in your mind to start working or start thinking as a third person not getting very emotionally you know uh, attached with this situation but rather start thinking logically and come out of the situation by providing reassurance and solution usually uh, you will get out of this situation and patient will come back after a few days or weeks now much more satisfied uh, about the outcome and uh, more accepting to the situations which are there many surgeons they feel that uh, extensive preoperative you know counseling helps to avoid this situation which is absolutely true but uh, the experience is that even after a lot of uh, counseling or explanation beforehand few patients always have this gap between the expectation and what they are experiencing after the surgery and there will be still few patients who will require uh, these uh, important examinations reassurances and of course the treatment for any sequelae which are now uh, there so uh, make sure you do everything right in the preoperative counseling but al always be prepared to make sure you can do your best for the patient even if patient is not very uh, you know pleasant with you or start blaming you after the surgery for any sequelae which is happening make sure you do your best for the patient thank you